Hey guys, Tommy with Elevation Every Weekend here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a real quick video featuring the 2014 Surly Pugsley Ops. With the exception of the seat, the pedals, and the grips, this bike is still 100% stock. And it is really good as is, but I did wanna take the opportunity to do a couple upgrades to it, uh, to change it up and to make it more fun to ride. And the upgrades I am doing are featured right here in this box. So let's see what we have in here real quick. First, I wouldn't call it an upgrade, but is the bottle. So we'll go ahead and get that in there right now. Couldn't pass that up. All right, one upgrade done. Next upgrade, and the one I'm probably most excited about, is trying a set of the Surly Maloko bars. I think this will be a great match for the Pugsley, and excited to get these on and experiment with them and compare and contrast them to the corner bar. And then the third upgrade are a set of the Surly Edna tires, which are 26 by 4.3 size so really excited to get those on and those are actually tried and true because i have them on my other 2014 surly pugsley which is the standard version uh, but i've been running them for over a year now and i love them and they were a huge upgrade on this bike and i think they'll be a really good upgrade on this bike too the standard bike did have a 26 by 4 inch surly nate tires they were the low grade version meaning the low thread count 27 tpi wire bead version so very heavy, not very compliant. They rode really heavy and the tread on the Nates is very aggressive. So when I made this upgrade uh, to the Ednas on this bike, it really transformed it. It made it feel much lighter, ride much better, uh, did much better on pavement and hard pack, which not really a focus of riding for this bike, but when I'm on it, it's much, much better. And I did do a video on that swap, so I'll link that down below. And moving over here to the Ops, it also has 26 by four inch Surly Nates on it. But these are the higher quality version. These are the 120 TPI thread count version and they are folding bead. So they are better in that they're much lighter and they are more compliant, but Nate tires just have really aggressive tread pattern. When you hear that loud hum, that just means you're wasting or burning energy and you really feel vibration from these tires, especially at lower speed. So swapping to the Nates should be a really nice upgrade for the Ops too. And it'll give it a little more tire volume for whenever it does get in the snow. Okay guys, there are the tires successfully installed. I uh, ran it up and down the road a couple times and it looks like they're running great. Running nice and true, no bobbles. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get onto the bars. Okay guys, the uh, wind kicked way up and it's getting cold out so I had to close the door so we're losing the natural light and making the shift to artificial light. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting these bars off and we're gonna try to install these Surly Moloko bars.
Alright guys, that's it for today's video. We're going to keep it short and sweet. That is the install of the Surly Edda tires and the Surly Maloko bars. If you found the video useful or interesting, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on grip tape or uses for the Maloko bars, definitely drop those down below. And if you want to continue to follow my adventures with this bike and all my other fat bikes, definitely subscribe to the channel. It does really help out the channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day.